Hello, we are grassroots volunteers reading Elizabeth Warren's plans aloud so that the sight impaired and other busy people can learn about Warren's ideas for a better America while multitasking. We are not professional voice artists. We do not have fancy equipment. We do not have sound studios. We will get tongue tied. We will stumble over words. You may even hear an occasional dog bark or baby cry. You can read all of Elizabeth Warren's plans yourself by Googling the words Team Warren Medium. Again, that's Team Warren Medium. And without further ado, here's one of Elizabeth Warren's plans. Ultra Millionaire Tax. A two cent tax on the great fortunes of more than 50 million can bring in nearly three trillion to rebuild America's middle class. It's time for the rich to pay their fair share. For decades, the wealthy and the well-connected have put American government to work for their own narrow interests. As a result, a small group of families has taken a massive amount of the wealth American workers have produced, while America's middle class has been hollowed out. The result is an extreme concentration of wealth not seen in other leading economies. The 400 richest Americans currently own more wealth than all black households and a quarter of Latino households combined. According to an analysis from economists Emmanuel Seitz and Gabriel Zuckman from the University of California, Berkeley, the richest top one-tenth of one percent has seen its share of American wealth nearly triple from 7% to 20% between the late 1970s and 2016 while the bottom 90% has seen its share of wealth decline from 35% to 25% in that same period. Put another way, the richest 130,000 families in America now hold nearly as much wealth as the bottom 117 million families combined. Our tax code focuses on taxing income, but a family's wealth is also an important measure of how much it has benefited from the economy and its ability to pay taxes. And judged against wealth, our tax system asks the rich to pay a lot less than everyone else. According to Seitz and Zuckman, the families in the top one-tenth of one percent are projected to owe 3.2% of their wealth in federal, state, and local taxes this year, while the bottom 99% are projected to owe 7.2%. While we must make income taxes more progressive, that alone won't straighten out our slanted tax code or our lopsided economy. Consider two people. An heir with 500 million in yachts, jewelry, and fine art, and a teacher with no savings in the bank. If both the heir and the teacher bring home $50,000 in labor income next year, they would pay the same amount in federal taxes despite their vastly different circumstances. Increasing income taxes won't address this problem. That's why we need a tax on wealth. The ultramillionaire tax taxes the wealth of the richest Americans. It applies only to households with a net worth of 50 million or more, roughly the wealthiest 75,000 households, or the top one-tenth of one percent. Households would pay an annual 2% tax on every dollar of net worth above 50 million, and a 3% tax on every dollar of net worth above 1 billion. Because wealth is so concentrated, Seitz and Zuckman project that this small tax on roughly 75,000 households will bring in 2.75 trillion in revenue over a 10-year period. <clears throat> Rates and revenue. Zero additional tax on any household with a net worth of less than 50 million that's 99.9% .9 of American households. 2% annual tax on household net worth between 50 million and 1 billion. 1% 1 annual billionaire surtax, a 3% tax overall, 
on household net worth above $1 billion. Ten-year revenue total of $2.75 trillion, estimate by Seitz and Zuckman. All assets are included in the net worth calculation, which will produce more revenue and reduce opportunities for avoidance and evasion. All household assets held anywhere in the world will be included in the net worth measurement, including residences, closely held businesses, assets held in trust, retirement assets, assets held by minor children, and personal property with a value of $50,000 or more. Taxpayers will be permitted to defer payment of the tax with interest for up to five years. For the rare taxpayer with an extremely high net worth but liquidity constraints that make it difficult to pay this additional tax, there will be an option to defer payment of the tax for up to five years with interest. The IRS will also be instructed to create rules for cases where deferment is required in truly exceptional circumstances to prevent unintended negative impacts on an ongoing enterprise or a taxpayer facing unusual circumstances that would advise for delay. Valuing assets for the purpose of the ultra-millionaire tax will provide an opportunity to tighten and expand upon existing valuation rules for the estate tax. The IRS already has rules to assess the value of many assets for estate tax purposes. The ultramillionaire tax is a chance for the IRS to tighten these existing rules, to close loopholes, and to develop new valuation rules as needed. For example, the IRS would be authorized to use cutting-edge retrospective and prospective formulaic valuation methods for certain harder-to-value assets like closely held business and non-owner occupied real estate. The proposal also includes strong anti-evasion measures, including but not limited to a significant increase in the IRS enforcement budget, a minimum audit rate for taxpayers subject to the ultra-millionaire tax, a 40% exit tax on the net worth above Fifty million of any U.S. citizen who renounces their citizenship and systematic third-party reporting of that builds on existing tax information exchange agreements adopted after the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. Leading constitutional law scholars believe the ultramillionaire tax is constitutional. Legal experts have submitted two separate letters in support of the constitutionality of this proposal. Examples. Married couple with household net worth of $100,000, the median income level in the United States, they pay zero tax because they are below the 50 million threshold. Married couple with a primary and vacation residence and substantial retirement savings for a household net worth of 20 million. They pay zero tax because they are below the 50 million threshold. Extremely successful small business owner of a 30 million business, 30 million dollar business, as well as additional assets for a household net worth of 40 million. They pay zero tax because they are below the 50 million threshold. Hedge fund manager with a net worth of 500 million pays a 2% tax on the 450 million in net worth above the 50 million threshold, producing a total annual liability of 9 million. Heir with a net worth of 20 billion pays a 2% tax on the 950 million between 50 million and 1 billion, and a 3% tax on the remaining 19 billion for a total annual liability of 589 million.